Hey everyone, this is Mel from Cardstock Concoctions. I am back bringing you guys a very cute, very fun, um, I'm actually calling this my mini glassine bag treat holder. And I decided to pull out a few things that I haven't used in a really long time. So let's go ahead and get started. Grab your Simply Scored Scoring Tool. And yes, the bottom part of this is off the screen. Don't worry about that. You're not going to need to score down that far. <laughs> now, I also have here our Sending Love Glassine Sheets. And these come in a sheet that is 6 inches by 12 inches long. You need a piece that is 3 inches tall by 6 inches wide. So that means you can get 4 of these from each of those 6 by 12 inch sheets. 3 inches, 6 inches. Let's get to it. All right, with a six inch side at the top, let me grab my directions, my scoring directions here. I want you to score at one and three eighths of an inch. And yes, this is kind of slidey, so that's the hardest part. One and three eighths of an inch, two and three quarters of an inch, two and three quarters of an inch, four and one eighth, four and an eighth, and five and one half. Five and a half. I want you to turn it 90 degrees, so you have your three inch side at the top. Score it three quarters of an inch. Now your bag will not be 100% closed at the bottom. That's okay, it will have an overlap, and you will be a-okay, I promise you. Okay, all your scoring is done. There's actually no stamping on this project today. I was looking for something really cute and fun and I didn't have to get my hands all inky for uh, and fast. I was looking for really, really fast one day. Um, okay, so the hardest part is after you score it is finding the score lines. There we go. All right, so I first crease it with my fingers, grab my bone folder if I can find it. Got buried on my table there. And then I just use my bone folder. Okay. Now, holding. Oops, didn't quite get it on that score line. The glassine sheets are really easy to fold. Um, you probably don't even need to use your bone folder unless you really wanted to, but I like to because I like my sharp creases. Actually, I'm going to go from this side. It's a little bit easier to see. Um, there we go. Okay. I was going to say it's a little easier to see when I can actually... There we go. Last one. One more. Okay. So, well, the hardest part is just getting your score lines folded. I see my tablet's actually going off in the background. Okay, sorry my finger's in the way. You rotate. Okay. With that little half inch tab right there. There we go. Okay. Now, just a smidgen of cutting. So we have, looks like this with your small tab over here. You want to leave the small tab, but remove this teeny tiny one there at the bottom. And I angle my cuts in just a little bit here just for my own ease of closing. All right, so just remove that little small tab. You guys can barely, let me see if I can find a darker piece of paper than the white. So you guys see what I removed? That's all I removed, that's it, that's all it is. And then we're gonna cut up the uh, mini score lines, your three eighths, or three quarters, it's a three quarter inch score line, all the way up to right there. All right, so there we go. I'm going to add adhesive, and I did find out snail works beautifully on these glassine bags. I found that out. So I'm gonna add adhesive to my little tab. I am going to fold over, line up, oh, 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 oh. Hang on. It stuck down a little bit before I could fold over. Okay. Fold over. We're going to go the other way here. Abnormal for me, but. And stick it down. 
There we go. Okay, fold it over, stick it down. Pop it open. Fold in, front, side, oh, side, back, and front. So you're gonna wanna add adhesive to your back. Piece here. There we go. Fold that down and stick. You may need to turn it over. Take your bone folder in there. There we go. Beautiful. Now let's do the front. Fold it over. There we go. So it's all stuck down. I just kind of tossed my bone folder in there. Now I just take the sides and I pinch. Pinch it together, kind of crease it in here, and you are done. Okay. Next, you're gonna need one of our mini paper clips. Now, I'm using our Floral Boutique washi, Designer Series washi tape, and I'm just pulling off a small chunk here. And I'm going to very carefully, the hardest part is threading it through and then getting it to stick to each other, remotely evenly. So thread it through. Stick it to the top as best and easily as you can. And then fold it over. Hoping you guys can see what I'm doing here. My fingers are really big and this washi tape is kind of small. Fold it over and just stick it together, okay? Come back in with your scissors and we're gonna pen at the ends. So I just kind of go up the center, one side, And the other. Oh, I'm stuck. The washi tape is stuck to me. All right, I want to make this one a little bit smaller, I think. There we go. So there we go. We have our beautifully fill your bags, or if you don't want to fill them right now, that's okay um, because your paper clips are removable. So you don't have to worry about it. So now you have a nice little topper. Now, Grab a piece of scrap. I used a Knight of Navy because my washi tape was Knight of Navy. And I grabbed my Blossom Bunch Punch. Now, it has three flowers in it. I only used the smaller two, so I used the middle one and this tiny one. The bigger one just kind of overpowers the little mini bag. Um, so you really don't want to use the bigger one unless you have to. Um, so again, yeah, I'm just sticking it in here to cover that. And... There we go. <laughs> this one takes some effort for me. So like it's a very tricky, tricky punch. Okay. So we have our two flowers. Now I do not have my paper piercing mat handy for some crazy reason, but I'm going to use my hand. So take the back of your paper piercer or pencil or whatever you guys have got handy. You can even use your bone folder. I suggest your paper piercing mat or a pillow. Neither one of them are handy for me right now, so I'm just going to use my hand and just pop it in the back there. Pop it in the center. And again, I'm using my hand. It doesn't hurt too bad. It depends on how hard you press. Do it at your own peril, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So then I'm grabbing in a mini glue dot. We're going to layer one inside the other. So we got one. i to open this up just a little bit in order to see. Layer him inside there. Whoop. Glue dots are great for this. You can also use liquid glue. Snails, not so great. Grab the other one. Another mini glue dot on the back of the larger one. And I'm just kind of aiming for this bottom corner of my bag. And to top it off, I'm going to come in here, I'm gonna grab one of our basic pearl, uh, basic pearls, medium, the one that sits here in the middle. So you have the large, the medium, what I call the small, and then you have the rose. I just grabbed one of the medium ones and you guys can't see me popping it into the center, sorry. Use my finger, there we go. Cannot get that positioned. 
Okay. Pops it into the center. And we have our cute mini glassine bags all done. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, before I forget, the bag is one and three eighths inches wide and deep. So one and three eighths by one and three eighths. And it is two and a quarter, two and a quarter inches tall. So, okay, so that is everything. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. If you enjoyed this project, please go ahead and like it. If you'd like to see more like this project, please go ahead and subscribe up there. And if you guys are looking for any of the directions or dimensions or anything like that, go ahead and click in the description bar below. And I'll have you guys linked out to my site where you can just pick up the free tutorial. All right, this is Mel from Cardstock Concoctions saying thanks a lot. See you guys next time. Bye.